For me, what uh, got me excited was um, that it reminded me of what it's like to fall in love and to be in Therese's shoes, trying to decipher how that person who you are fo be becoming somewhat obsessed with feels in return. And how disempowered you are, how sort of shut out of the world you are, and what it does to you. And, and, and what's so interesting is when I read the novel, which this being the only non-thriller, non-crime themed novel of Patricia Highsmith's career, it, she, she makes a parallel between what the criminal mind does and what the amorous mind does, right? And I just thought that's so brilliant because it, we're both, you both feel somewhat pathologized by, those, by that experience, or I can't speak for the criminal mind, but I can speak for, for somebody who remembers being in her shoes, falling in love. And I love that about the story, and I felt that that was something universal. I, I think in many ways both women are defined by men initially, and their ex feelings for each other which become apparent and become something that they ultimately can't deny, changes them. Um, and I mean, Carol has a more complicated history because she had a relationship with a woman, we learn, uh, that sort of preceded her relationship with her husband. So there was already complication in that regard, but she still went for it. She still became the wife of Harges Aird and presume the mantle of that sort of socialite existence. Um, but she, obviously, she's in a transition when we first meet the character. Therese is somebody who has a boyfriend who wants to marry her and has other guys who are flirting with her, and I think she is trying to follow suit, but it's not quite serving her, and then this happens with Carol. What happens is that when the two women really do uh, profess their love for each other, and express their love for each other, then all of a sudden all bets are off. And they're in a position to stand by that. You know, Carol finally has to confront custody issues and everything gets very complicated. But for a moment, it's really like the love itself is what defines them. And I think to, uh, Phyllis has always talked about that, that it's not, the fact that it's lesbian love wasn't gonna hold them back. Once they felt that the love was returned, that's all you really need to know when you're in love. Well, it's a, a privilege and an honor and a, you know, uh, a learning experience, uh, whatever. It's all of those things when I work with Kate. This role being something so utterly different from what we had done previously, of course, uh, and that was exciting, just to take her from this protean character inspired by one of Bob Dylan's most famous chapters in his career, and I'm not there, to playing this extremely complicated Carol. Um, and somebody who we, we get to know incrementally. You know, we really get to know Carol through Therese's eyes. And so she keeps shedding layers and kind of uh, screens of confusion or Un, you know, indecipherability, I guess. And we get closer to the real complicated woman behind that image. But that image is a really important part of how the film works, because we all have to kind of fall in love with Carol a bit. And part of that is falling in love with the image of Carol. So Kate just knew how to navigate all of those levels of the character. And that's, that's really, um, that's just, that speaks to a level of understanding and a complexity and a sophistication and a, you know, an understanding of the craft of film because it's about point of view as much as it is anything else. Well, Rooney Mara is just one of the most courageous uh, actors in the way she knows how to play, to underplay her roles and to know, and knows that the camera can pick up on nuance and subtlety like no other medium. And so she she just lets the viewer, you know, recognize the smallest gestures and let them carry a tremendous emotional uh, weight and meaning. And I just think that 
speaks to such sophistication for somebody her age. That takes confidence and also knowing what the film medium is about. So it was a, it was a role I, I also don't think I've ever seen her play. In a way, it's a very simple role of a girl just kind of coming into focus to herself, you know, in the world. And you really watch her change and grow up right before your eyes.